Hi, this is Anthony with a review on Firefox 34, which was released on December 1st, 2014. This is the 8th rapid release update from Mozilla in 2014, and it'll be the last one this year because the next one will be released in January 2015. So let's see what's new in Firefox 34. As always, there have been a lot of bug fixes and fixes to security vulnerabilities, and um, with this update, uh, there have been over 3,700 bug fixes. There are also some new features that were implemented in Firefox uh, 34. Now, before I get into that, I'd like to review some of the changes that took place um, after the official release in Firefox 33. Uh, basically, there were a couple of minor uh, Firefox updates, namely Firefox 33.1 and Firefox 33.1.1. Um, these updates were part of the 10th anniversary of Firefox. Uh, the first one of uh, these new changes were the, uh, is the forget uh, button, and this is what it looks like. And it basically helps reserve the privacy uh, for the past 24 hours. So if you click on that um, forget button, uh, you will notice that it gives you a few options uh, to clear a cache um, for the past five minutes, two hours, and up to 24 hours. You basically you know make the choice and then click the forget button. Now, if you do not see the forget button. Uh, in the toolbar, um, what you need to do is uh, click on the menu icon, top right, and then choose the customize button. You will then see the um, forget button in the section right here, as you can see, mine's right here, and you basically need to just drag and drop it to the uh, toolbar. Another new addition you will notice is the inclusion of DuckDuckGo search engine. And um, if you click on the search bar, you will notice that uh, DuckDuckGo has now been added. Now, DuckDuckGo is basically a search engine that promises to focus on the, on protecting users' privacy. So now let's take um, take a look at what's new in Firefox 34. So one of the new features Mozilla has introduced in Firefox 34 is Firefox Hello, and uh, this is a new online voice and video communication service. And one of the benefits of uh, Firefox Hello is um, that you do not need to uh, download any additional software or you know install a plugin, nor do you need to open an account to use a service. Um, this new online communication service is being offered via the OpenTalk platform and can be used on any browser that has WebRTC enabled. Uh, and WebRTC is basically real-time communication, basically instant chat and communication. So, as far as I know, Firefox, Google Chrome, Google Chrome, and um, Opera um, uh, have these, um, you know, WebRTC enabled. Now, this is what the Firefox uh, Hello button looks like, and um, if you click on it, um, you will notice this drop-down box, and um, it will generate this unique uh, link. Uh, you can then basically just email this link to the person that you wish to chat with and then you know copy and paste this link into your browser. So this is what the Firefox Hello start page looks like. As you can see it's still in beta so you can expect to see some uh, you know changes and in, in enhancements to this. And in order to start the uh, the communication all you've got to do is just press this or click the start button. And it gives you um, an option to, if you click this little down arrow, it gives you an option to, you know, either voice chat or chat via video. Now, if you don't see this, uh, you know, Firefox um, Hello button uh, on your toolbar, you can, uh, uh, you know, check my video uh, tutorial on how to um, find it and, and where to where to find it. I do not want to make this too long, so um, you can check the video tutorial. So moving on. The, uh, the next uh, uh, feature was the improved uh, search bar. And as mentioned earlier, in Firefox 33, Mozilla had already made some enhancements. And um, in the new Firefox uh, search bar, when you enter you know, some text or a search term or phrase, as you can see, I've entered Firefox, um, it will it'll give you a list of uh, suggestions. And uh, additionally, you will notice down below, um, options for different search engines uh, and it also allows you to change the settings uh, right here. So for example if you click this uh, change search settings uh, you will notice that now Firefox has Yahoo as default uh, search engine. You can obviously change this by clicking this uh, 
button and then let's just say you want to make Google your default search engine you can just uh, choose Google all right so you can also add um, you know more search providers by clicking this link another enhancement is that you can change Firefox themes and personas directly in the customized mode in order to do so just click this themes button below and then choose the appropriate theme if you click on a particular theme you will notice that it shows you a preview uh, this is what the space um, fantasy theme looks like and uh, this is the preview for the linen light theme you can use these buttons below to manage and get more themes so let's move on um, Wikipedia search now uses HTTPS for secure searching and HTTPS essentially stands for uh, Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure which is a communication protocol that enables secure online communication to prevent man-in-the-middle attacks now in uh, previous versions of uh, Firefox if you visited uh, Wikipedia using the um, Firefox um, search or address bar uh, you would end up on www.wikipedia.org which is essentially an HTTP web address not HTTPS um, and in Firefox 34 uh, if you do the same thing you would end up on an HTTPS wikipedia.org uh, website which is obviously more secure um, for your information um, Wikipedia already had a secure HTTP site which is you know this one right here but um, obviously in Firefox now it uh, automatically takes you there other new features um, in Firefox um, that were implemented uh, include uh, being able to recover from a locked Firefox process in the Firefox is already running dialog box on Windows um, also uh, ECMAS script 6 uh, weak set and JavaScript string or uh, template strings uh, were implemented uh, if you don't know what this means don't bother um, now Mozilla also has disabled the SSL uh, v3 which is version uh, version 3 and this decision was uh, essentially made on the same day that Google disclosed a serious vulnerability in uh, SSL version 3 uh, you know back in uh, October 2014 for developers uh, there is an improved uh, user interface for profiler and um, web ID now replaces the app manager uh, which basically allows developers to create edit and test a new web application directly in the browser um, you can check um, you know Firefox uh, the Firefox 34 release notes for a full list of uh, uh, new features and changes uh, you'll find that in, a, in the description uh, section and uh, as always uh, I ran a browser benchmark test using uh, peacekeeper and um, overall uh, there was a positive improvement in performance compared to previous version of uh, uh, Firefox but um, Google Chrome you know continues to outperform um, Firefox based on the results so that's pretty much it um, in terms of what uh, you can find in Firefox uh, 34 and uh, you know hope you found this video useful if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and um, you will find many Firefox help tutorials and reviews on my YouTube channel. Uh, and if you've got any questions, you can please, uh, you know, uh, feel free to leave them in the comment section. Thanks for stopping by.